Hey y'all, it's Costume Jeweler. I'm not even going to tell you where we're at because you see that beautiful red, white, and blue sign back there. You know where we are. We're going in here looking for purses, jewelry, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets to pick up for resale on YouTube and eBay, mainly on YouTube. So make sure you hit that notification bell. Click all. Make sure that all bell says all notifications. Hopefully YouTube will notify you of these video thrifting uploads as well as my live buy it nows and auctions on my channel. I have lots of giveaways. We had three days of sales last week and I had five giveaways, I believe five or six. And just so you know too, I said I wasn't gonna have another sale until the end of January, which won't be true because I have postponed my trip and planting 74 pecan trees until the end of March. So we will have some sales coming up. So bring plenty of cash because this is a cash only place. Two locations, this is Hillsboro. There's another location on Waters Avenue. And the one in Bradenton's brand new, I've not been there yet. So this video will go out later, but it's Wednesday. So my hope is that they have new merchandise, but I'm hoping also that anything that went 50% off day today at the full price last week is still some of it here. I never buy the Victoria's Secret bags, but look how beautiful this toad is and still has the tags on it. Don't know how much it was, but pretty. So this Cole Haan bag is gorgeous. Let's see here, it's got a little bit of rub right there though. If it weren't for that, I'd probably get it. But you got that little bit of rub right there, still a beautiful bag. So we're gonna pass on that one. I'm not sure what that bag runs. Didn't even know they made purses. BCBG. Paris. What do y'all think about that one? Is that expensive or not? Looks to be good condition. Y'all know I'm a sucker for snakeskin, y'all. This is Michael Kors, and it's snakeskin, and I love it. Take a look at the handles and things, see if it looks in pretty good condition. Don't really see any visible rubs on it. If I do pack something up in the video, that you, or at least you think I packed it up, feel free to send me an email as long as it's within a day of the video. And if I did get it, I'll send you a price quote. So not everything I see that I buy, regardless of if it's designer name brand or not, some people think I shouldn't pass on something if it's designer brand, but I resell, so you can't obviously buy everything just because it has a Michael Kors, Kate Spade, or some certain name on it. You buy it based on a lot of different reasons. Let's see what that is right there. So this looks good to me. We may get this one. And the interior appears to be in good condition. Let's both, all of us, stick our heads down in this purse and take a look at it. See what y'all think about it. I don't see any ink stains. Ink stains are not usually a big deal. But I don't see any stains of any sort, a little bit of dirt. This big back right here is Jewel. I don't think I've ever picked up a Jewel before. Good looking bag there though, but we're gonna pass on it. <laughs> we're gonna look at all the whatnotty trinkety items now. Looks like a Christmas ornament. This right here is a cute game. Y'all know Cornhole. This is Coin Hole, look at this one. here Hi. so you know I'm always looking for the trinket boxes I'm not sure if this is a kids jewelry box y'all or if y'all think this would be something somebody would be interested in it's a beautiful box Here's the back of it. So Noah's Ark. I guess you could store jewelry on that if you wanted. Great detail on that one. No, Cece does not need a new sofa, but what would y'all do with something like this? I don't even know what this is used for. Could it be a cushion pin, a pin cushion? Would you, could you display jewelry on it somehow? I don't know, but they've got two of them. That would be kind of cute for her. We got the second one right there. My Little Pony. 
little ceramic bank. This looks like it's real leather. Joe Bowyer's always looking for a wallet. He's always come into our channel and he's always, this is always his first time in. Usually buy relic, but that's a cute wallet there. What else we got back behind here? Vera Bradley wristlet's really nice. And it's different from most of the Vera Bradleys. I think we'll pick that one up. Very nice suede. Crossbody. You could carry this around for fun. It's $79.99, but it's not real inside. It says made in not France. Y'all can decide if this is real. But I don't think so. Still a good condition. I'm still, this is really good condition. We're going to debate that one. I don't know if I'll get that or not. Don't know. Now look at this super shiny coach wristlet. A little bit of rub right there, so passing on it for that reason. What else we got in here? A cost. So y'all saw me sell one of these, so Spartina. This is a credit card wallet. Look at this credit card wallet. So I had one that was Florida. So this has different countries right there. These are always nice to have. Spartina is a great brand. And on the inside looks to be good condition. Lots of places for your credit cards. But I love these ones that are kind of, I don't know if you'd say map version of Spartina or how you describe it. But we may get that one. That would be great for a cruise. This brand right here is Apartment 9. Very sophisticated looking. What is this back here? We're going to look behind the counter and see what they've got, too. See if there's anything that we want to check out. Look at the perfume. See what there is. What are these? Look at that abalone shell necklace. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And I think I found my crown. Okay, thank you. Think I found my crown. Beautiful right there. Redskins pin. I'm not sure who would wear that. Not sure if any of y'all are Redskins fans. Always check out the bracelets. That one right there looks like it. And it's right there in the center looks like it might be sterling and gold. Sapphires over there. Look at that necklace. A little bit of lapis there. Dichroic glass. And then you have your torque. Here's your 14 karat gold gemstones. This bracelet right here is Really liking that patent leather right there, burgundy wine color. Thinking that might be Coach. Hello, 
How are you? This is a cool little keychain. So this might be Swarovski crystal. I'm not sure. Look at that. I love it. Not sure if it is or not. But we're gonna get that one because that's really shiny and it's glass. It's probably crystal. Let's see if there's any cracks on it anywhere. I just wish these glasses would fit Cece's head, but her head's pretty big. She thinks she's a a star of some sort, so I'm not sure that these would fit her. And I don't think they would fit on one of my mannequins, but I guess I could wear these out and about, couldn't I? I don't always look at the glasses, but look at these. Those are really cool also. Let's see, let's look at the jewelry. Is this a Betsy Johnson by chance frog keychain? Look at the back, you see kind of the holes there in the back. Fancy pair of earrings right here, y'all. Look at this. St. John clip-ons. That's not St. John's Bay either. So we are getting those St. John earrings. Those run expensive, at least the purses do. This might be amber, y'all. It's a stretch. But well, we're gonna get it in hopes that this is an amber stretch bracelet. Sparkly, sparkly. Oh, you do? Yeah. These are really cool earrings right here. I love these so much. These are two. I don't see that these are designer signed, y'all, but they have CZs. Maybe they're diamonds and gold. I don't know, but we're going to pick those up. And this is kind of Christmassy, I think, but it does not matter. Let's see if it's missing anything. I really want to get this one. It's a lot of detail, and I think we are going to get this one. I'm not sure that these are signed on the back. They do have that little signature CZ. I'm going to zoom in on this. This is real calf hair. C-A-L-L, -L, real calf hair, not cat. We're going to get those. These right here, I may get them. I'm going to try to zoom in, just make sure they don't miss any CZs. Assuming CZs, and it does look, are we missing one right there or not? I don't think we are. I don't think we are missing a CZ right there, so I think I'm going to get those. Simple yet bold. Head to the back wall. Check out the purses. I had that one before. This is kind of nice. It's a pretty keychain right there. It's kind of simple though. Look at this one. CC's little change purse. Marine Corps earrings, I believe. What kind of wood is this, y'all? Stretch bracelet. Thirty-four dollars for this one, y'all. This is probably, I bet, super expensive and special. Look at this. It's like warriors. Here's the signature of the artist. That's wonderful. I wish this weren't messing a rhinestone, y'all, because this is a pretty cool gold-filled box. Look on the inside. Money clip. It's pretty cool. Maybe the rhinestone can be replaced, right? You can replace it. Then you have your, your petty cash box. 
I think I'm going to pack it up anyway. I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that can repair things like that. The dollar sign spins around. Probably just needs to be tightened up. One rhinestone missing. You can put your lucky red rhinestone in there. But I think it is a great little petty cash box. Definitely cannot pass on that one. Now here's some more fun artwork. Look at this. This is a beautiful piece here. It's 59. this cost back in 86 well that would be a piece to have there's the artist too but that's a beautiful piece of art we had to put that back real quick that's just odd that is odd, odd, odd Egyptian sculpture, um, Spanish sculpture. I'm not sure where it's from. Neat little holder for jewelry right there. That was super odd. What is this? That's a cool picture. And this is a very cool box. Filigree gold tone. I think we'll get that one. Glass top. What's this right here? There's the other side of it. Pretty amber colored horse figure. This is made out of acrylic. So some sort of plastic material, not sure. This piece right here is looks like a probably oxidized metal of some sort on red felt. But I don't know, could we resell this on the channel or not? Look at this great piece right here. No, we may take a chance on that one, y'all. That's a really great piece. Probably vintage. And for all of you that love your face brooches and things like this, look at this wall hanging. Love that. Purse ball, we have arrived. What is this one here? Let's see. Washington Nationals. It's a fancy snake skin crossbody. We might have struck gold here, y'all. This is Rebecca Minkoff. I thought it was vintage at first. So this one's great. So Re Rebecca Minkoff. Show you up close. Great brand. A little bit of rub right there. I don't know. We may get this one. Let's look at the inside. Not sure if it's real snake skin or not. It's at least made to look like snake skin. We might get that one. Hoping this is authentic, y'all. Look at this. You know I love my vintage coach bags. This is a backpack. We're going to clean this one right up and get that on the market. 
a little bit of rub, but on these vintage ones, it doesn't matter. It gives it character. So it's a backpack. I think we're going to get it. Love that. Chocolate brown backpack. Jack George's. Is this a fancy brand, y'all? Let me know. Now, it's good stitching right here. I'm going to show you this bag. Look at this. The stitching is great. The paint right there, the edging nearly reminds you of a Louis Vuitton type edging. Did the thrift store miss putting this one behind the counter? Y'all tell me in the comments below. Cause I have never ever heard of this brand before and I'm really hoping it's leather but I'm gonna look it up and see what we've got here but we very well might have found something special here is a Sandra Roberts and take a look at this one it comes with a dust bag definitely all leather smells like it woven handles I don't know y'all gold tone what is this right here? Wow. Let's see if the inside says anything. UK button. All genuine leather. No designer mark, but it doesn't matter. We are getting that because it's a gorgeous crossbody bag. Love it. This one might be fancy. Not sure. And here's what this looks like. Fancy, fancy. This is kind of looking like a fossil, but missing the strap, the crossbody. Let's take a look at this one. It is a fossil, but would you pick it up if it's missing the crossbody strap? Most would say yes. You put your own crossbody strap on it. Vintage coach, a little biker bag looking. Love the rubs on it. Dirty on the inside, though. Oh, 09 West. I couldn't see that up close. So snakeskin leather. Charles Jordan. <coughs> Wondering about this bag, y'all. It looks like it's real leather. Oh well. Handle bag and crossbody. Tag on the inside says fossil and it's leather also. We're gonna think about that when I do live packing up the fossils. Seems to be really good condition. Navy blue. This is a nice bag too. It's genuine leather. There's no um, designer name on it. Y'all know that one? Look at that. Ram that's dirty. To the Tinianello lovers, look at this one, y'all. B. Mikowski. Well, we looked at all this wall. Let's check this wall out. We don't want to miss anything. If we can help it. This one's not old, but you can hang it on a Christmas tree, decorate with it at least. Mm -hmm. 
great piece of home decor right here. Mix and match those uh, candle holders, y'all. Look at this. Pair that one up with this one right here. We are gonna get look down through these purses, see if there's anything else. Always check the briefcases. You never know when you'll find a vintage coach. So never know when you might find a vintage coach in these stacks of briefcases, and I think we just did. So these vintage coach uh, briefcases to me are kind of like the vintage coach purses that you ladies love so much to buy. Look at this one. I'm going to take a look at this real quick. So yeah, I told you that you always check the briefcases because you never know. And sure enough, today is our lucky day. I have several briefcases that I need to start showing you all for sale. But let's take a look at the condition of this one real quick. Ooh. Wow. Moldy. We're going to pass on this one. I'm sure you could probably clean that up. But we're not going to get it for that reason. So we're going to check at the other bags and see if we've got anything else. What is this little thing right here? Because y'all know, oh, that's rabbit fur. Rabbit fur. Shoulder bag. I like it. Here's the brand on it. American executive on this backpack. <coughs> it's kind of a nice one for sure. So y'all know this expensive brand right here. Look at this one. A little bit of something right there on the A. Inside's great condition. Just look at this piece right here. So big Daisy Gold tote. We're gonna check out y'all. We're gonna look through these purses, see what I'm gonna take home. And until next video or live sale, we'll see y'all later. Bye.